we are on a journey to create an invoice template that looks something like this. So a brief introduction about my invoice here. So this is the invoice template and if I scroll on the right hand side, I have a list of database for my spreadsheet here. This could be located in any worksheet if needed to be. Now to do the product, basically I'm going to do a data, data tools, data validation, data validation over here on the settings tab. I'm going to select list to allow and click on that arrow here and then select the product from the data set table here like that and hit enter twice like this and once that's done let's scroll over the other side now to look up a unique price basically i'm going to use this formula essentially what i'm doing is i'm going to use the product name as a lookup table against our database table on the right hand side there and for the total i'm going to say equal unit price multiplied by quantity i'm going to take the product list here and uh, apply it to the rest of the rows and then the unit price and the total i'm going to apply the same formula to the rest of the row and it should look something like this at the moment let's do a quick test here and select a product and you should get a price here and you put a quantity in here and then you should get a total price at the bottom Next, we'll create an automatic row hiding feature. We'll assign column L as our helper column and write an if statement to return 1 if cell C13 has a value. After that, we'll apply the same formula to the rest of the rows. After that, select the header row, press Ctrl Shift L to activate the filter and use the filter option on the helper column to show only the values equal to 1. After that, right click on your sheet name, select view code and after that, paste this VBA script into your VBA editor. Control S to save and close the VBA editor and as you add more product into your invoice, you can see that it starts adding row accordingly.